Hey everybody, this is Ashley B here again with an update about how my day with James actually went. So in my last video I was telling you that my friend Megan hooked me up with this guy who apparently is a DNG model and OMG DNG, he was such a dream. When I saw him, I kind of felt like I was one of those cartoon characters in The Wolf when your jaw drops, you just go like, oh my god, that was me? Anyways, he was gorge. Um, Megan made such a good choice in putting us both together, because obviously we hadn't met each other, so we didn't know what to expect, but obviously Megan's a really good friend of mine, and he knows Megan pretty well, so Megan just made the right kind of connection. Anyways, so we went and we met up at the Monte Carlo Bay Hotel. And um, that place, I just run out of words to even describe how it was. When I entered, it just smelled like pure luxury gold. It was like entering a dreamland. I've never been there before because I always felt quite intimidated to go in because I think you have to know the right people to be able to go in and kind of, you know, once you stepped in there, it was just so much ambition and like, it made you actually feel worth as a person. Like people would just like dress so nicely and oh my God, James? He's so well groomed, like he takes care of himself so well. He had a clean shave, his hair was slipped back. He was wearing this like Prada suit, like all to the top and it was kind of like a, like a light navy blue, so super summery. And he had this like amazing Mont Blanc watch, which is probably worth about like 30 to say the least. So obviously the man has money to spend. Anyways, he was all night telling me how beautiful I looked in my leopard dress, so it was quite flattering. We flirted all throughout the night. There was quite a lot of tension. It was it was it was pretty pretty lol. But anyways, um and we drank loads of champagne. I actually kind of remember having a bit of a blackout at some point, but um, the champagne was just like the creme of the creme of the champagne that you can get. Like I think it was probably from like you know, the 1920s or something. It's been sitting there for years and all these rich people just like, I like I was on a Hollywood set, but it was actually reality. It was such a dream. Anyways, um, imagine being in this hotel. If you guys ever come to Monaco, you have to visit this place. It's off the hook. I'm gonna post a link on the bottom of, of my page so you can go on the website and check it out. It's just like beyond control. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the overall, you know, the overall outcome of the night was a complete success and I kind of think that maybe we're actually going to start to date because he did ask me out for dinner, so that's quite exciting. Um, let's see what happens. Anyways, after having such a great night out, today I kind of lost the plot a bit and I went and I bought myself a new bag. Um, it was on sale, so it was okay, it was cheaper. Prada, at the moment, is on 30% to 40% off. So I went and I did something a bit ridiculous. I don't know if it was the outfit that I'm wearing today, it kind of inspired me, but you know how I got my first Prada bag about like two months ago, maybe almost? I liked it so much that I kind of went and got myself another one in pink, and it's off. The hook. It's incredible. Like, I really like it. I mean, look how killer my outfit looks. Go I mean, everyone on the street was looking at me when I bought it. I just thought, okay, I'm gonna wear it right away. It's such a beauty. It's the same as the white one, which I have somewhere in my room. Oh, it's down there on the floor. You can't really see it. It's the same as the white one. I don't know. I just found it such a success. Like, with the green and white one, everyone was stopping me and asking me, because they're so limited that they sell like peanuts. But I guess because this is a bit more of a difficult color to, you know, combine with everyday kind of like, you know, garments and stuff. I guess it wasn't a bestseller, but oh my god, I love it. It kind of looks like candy. And I love candy. Anyways, so I bought this out of like a lusty spurt. I think I'm, yeah. 
I think I'm like totally in lust with James. Anyways guys, I'm gonna keep you posted in my next video. I'm gonna do 19 random facts about me. <laughs> Actually, I have more than 19, but I'm only gonna give you 19. Anyways guys, I will see you in my next video.